principles that we applied to come up with a plan aesthetically, also as a space plan, is that we want the church to immediately communicate a set of values, uh, a set of beliefs about what we believe, what we do here, why we care about being here, and why we're happy to be here. And so one is to create a focal point on the thing that is most important, which is our common act of worship in liturgy, the altar, uh, the Eucharist. Another aspect is to really bring a much more intentional aspect to the architectural elements and the furnishings that surround the liturgy. For example, what does the altar actually look like? What does the pulpit actually look like? Why is it important to craft them in a certain way? Because of what they represent, because of the importance of the act. Uh, your garage does not look like your bedroom or your dining room for a very particular reason, because they don't serve the same function. I think one thing that we can also talk about, slightly more focused light, is you know, what is that thing? What is it that we're doing here? And if what we believe is true, then what we are doing here is welcoming Christ in our midst. And so through the Eucharist and the Mass, through the consecration, through our sharing of uh, of communion we have Christ with us he's there and so in that sense we prepare the space for him not because he needs it because we need it we need to remind ourselves of who this guest is of who this master of ours is so we we form the space to the highest possible dignity that we are able to in order to receive him because what we say we believe is actually true. And so because that is the moment where we receive Christ and, and also see Christ in each other, that's why the church is not like another space. In fact, the church is consecrated. It's, it, it's a place, a consecration, a place that is set apart from others. And so it is different and therefore it must appear different because its purpose is different.